What you have to do in the world is different. How you do it is different. When you talk about pressure, you're not talking about what to do and what not to do, you're talking about how of life. If running a design school is becoming a big pressure, living as a whatever, a business person is becoming a pressure, don't do it, just walk the beach. But they're also pressure, isn't it? So the pressure is not because of the job or the position that you've taken. Pressure and stress is happening because you do not know how to conduct your body, how to conduct your mind and how to conduct your emotions. This human mechanism, this is the most sophisticated gadget on the planet. Have you read the user's manual? That's the whole problem <laughs> If you deal with that, outside situations are a play. To what extent can you play? You, maybe you cannot play like me, but you will play to the best of your capability and that's fine. You don't have to play like somebody else, but you must play to the best of your capability. If that doesn't get explored, when you're pressured, it will not get explored. When you're pressured, when you're stressed, you will not live to your full cap capability. Even the silly things, cannot be done when you're under pressure. If you're in a certain level of calmness and sweetness within you, your body and your intelligence will work at its best. So, this is about playing this life out. This is not about proving something to somebody. It is just that if you want to succeed, it's only success that ultimately everybody around you will respect, okay? If you want to succeed, you must learn to harness your physical body and your mind the fullest possible way. So only two things. And of course, harnessing the external situations, but that harnessing the external situations essentially depend upon how well you can harness your own intelligence and your body. Now when you're… when you're creating pressure, on one level what it means is, you… your intelligence has turned against you. It's not working for you, it is working against you. Nobody has to cause misery to you, you're on self-help. So you're saying that happiness can only come when you achieve success and not no. by being No, 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 I didn't say anything like that. <laughs> I'm saying only if you're happy, your body and mind will function at their best. If they function at their best, depending upon your indi individual competence, and the situations around us, how they play out. It, your success is not just about your competence, there's also a situation. How all these things come together, that will lead to a certain level of success. So I'm saying the way you are is the first step, what you do is the next step. But everybody is trying to fix it the other way around and it'll never work. If you hold… if you create any tension, either in the body or in the mind, you don't need another enemy in your life. You will just slowly work against yourself, not just in terms of physical health, in many different ways, you understand? You will turn your own life energies against you. Today we know very clearly that People who are going through excessive tensions definitely are inviting ailments, there's no question about it. Medically, it's a proven fact, isn't it? But much more than that is happening. You are not only inviting health situation… Uh, health or ill health situations, you are inviting a whole host of problems in the world. Because how or in what way you reverberate, accordingly you draw those type of situations towards yourself, those kind of people towards yourself, those kind of ultimate results to your own life. So, what we are talking about is not just about beating the stress, not talking about just being little more peaceful. If you want to create your life the way you want it, you need to take charge of certain fundamentals, otherwise, 
you are just working your own energies against yourself. And this is not… when I said it's a formidable enemy, because the very source of creation is here. It's better, it's best that the source of creation is working for you, not against you, isn't it? Yes or no? Yeah. This such a powerful thing, it must be always working for you. If it works against you, you're finished. Nobody can save you, I'm telling you. If the very source of creation within you begins to work against you, uh, nothing, nothing in this world is going to save you. So it's very, very important. It is not just about being little free from stress, being little more peaceful, little more happy, it's not about that. To create your life the way you want it, it's very important that first of all the body, then the mind, then the energies, these things are attended to with us utmost care. This is as important as you going out and making money, creating your family, doing whatever because all those things you may have and still be you may be miserable, not only for yourself, you may be causing much misery to everybody around you. Not because you are good or bad, simply because you are ignorant of life. People are causing pain to each other, not because they are good or bad, they're just ignorant of the ways of life, isn't it? Hmm? When whatever those people started nailing this man, it seems he said they know not what they're doing. All he's saying is ignorance is the only problem, isn't it? Not because they're evil, not because they're some devil's agents. Ignorance is the only problem. They know not what they're doing, that's the only problem, isn't it? A young woman went to a doctor and said, Oh doctor, my body is hurting all over. Just everything in my body is hurting. The doctor looked at her, she looked quite young and healthy. He said, That looks strange. Every part in your body is hurting. Show me what's happening. She said, Just look at this doctor. And she just touched the right knee. Ah! Oh, she screamed. Then she touched her left elbow. Ah! Oh, she screamed. She touched her neck and she screamed. And the doctor said, Okay, just relax. And he brought a little plaster and put it on her finger. There was an injury in the finger. So if pain comes, suffering comes, misery happens, not time to look around. This is always the problem. If you are miserable, you think somebody else need to be fixed. No, 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 no. If you are miserable, this needs to be fixed, not somebody else. No, I am miserable, fix the situation for me. No, no, no. If you are miserable, who should be fixed? If you are sick, who should be given the medicine? Shall we give it to somebody else when you are sick? If you are hungry, shall we give the food to somebody else? No. It only works if you give it to this, isn't it? If food is like that, medicine is like that, is that not true with every other aspect? Both your miseries and joys are caused from inside, so it needs to be attended here, not somewhere else. The sooner you learn this, the more graceful and wonderful your life will become. If you are taking a lifetime to understand this, life will have its ways. Stress is a complex and multifaceted phenomena that has significant implication for our physical, mental and emotional well-being. So let's explore this topic in a more general way. Stress is body's physiological and psychological response to perceived threats or demands, both real and imagined.
it involves the activation of the sympathetic nervous system leading to the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline stress can have both positive and negative effects depending on the intensity duration and individual's ability to cope stress can arise from a wide range of sources including environmental factors like noise pollution extreme temperature social and interpersonal factors like relationship conflicts social isolation work related pressure internal factors like negative self talk unrealistic expectation and health concern perception of a situation as threatening or overwhelming is a key factor in triggering the stress response when the body perceives as stressor it activates the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis leading to the release of cortisol and other stress hormones these hormones prepare the body for a fight or flight response increasing heart rate blood pressure and glucose levels to provide the necessary energy for dealing with the perceived threat stress can also have significant psychological effects such as anxiety irritability and mood swing difficulty concentrating and making decisions feeling of overwhelm burnout and emotional exhaustion While stress is a natural and unavoidable part of life it is important to develop strategies to maintain or mitigate its negative impacts this can involve techniques like mindfulness exercise social support and cognitive behavioral therapy to help individuals better cope with and adapt to stress situations ultimately the goal is to move beyond simple managing stress and towards cultivating a more resilient balanced and fulfilling way of living In summary stress is a complex physiological and psychological response to perceived threats or demands with both positive and negative implications understanding the causes and mechanisms of stress as well as developing effective coping strategies can help individuals and communities move beyond the limitations of stress and towards a more holistic and thriving existence so as we come to the end of this video let's take a moment to pause and reflect on the power we hold within ourselves stress and tension can feel overwhelming at times but they don't have to control your life It is important to remember that what happens inside us is something we can shape no matter what is happening around us. So take a deep breath and notice how a simple act like this can calm the mind even if just for a moment. It is not about fighting what is outside but learning how to work with what is inside. Every little step you take towards balance and inner peace helps you move away from the stress and negativity that may surround you. You don't need to solve everything at once. Start small by being kind to yourself and others, giving yourself space and others, and using simple tools like breath or movement to bring ease into your body and mind. Do practice Shambhavi Mahamudra Kriya daily to cope up with stress, anxiety, or tension. Remember, this is not a summary of Sadhguru's words. It is simply my interpretation of the deep wisdom he imparted. Please keep this separated and do not misunderstand. Thank you for joining today, and I will see you tomorrow. Until then, please take care. Namaskaram.